Hi, this is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop, and in this video I want to show you how to update WordPress to the latest version. Well, over here on my blog, on the right-hand sidebar, I have a How to Update WordPress, and just click on the graphic, and it will pop open a new window with the steps, and I'm going to walk you through these steps. Now, generally, I recommend that you wait a few days for the plugin authors and theme authors to make any updates. But WordPress 5.1 just came out yesterday, and I want to make this video for you today. So, the first thing you want to do is do a backup. There's many different ways to do backups. Your hosting can have backups for you. You can have a backup plugin. Here's one, Backup Buddy. Lots of different ways. I'm not going to do that in this video. I'll assume you've got backups handled. What I'm going to do is go through the rest of the steps. So I'm coming over to one of my clients, Rivian Wolf, and I'm already logged in. And up at the top here is this little symbol that shows there are updates. So I'm on the Updates tab, and there's a couple of announcements. I can X that out. I don't need to see that. And I can X this one out as well. And it's reminding me to do a backup, and I've already done that. So let me walk you through the steps. So the first thing I do is I update the plugins. I do that before I update the core software. So I'm going to come over here. Here are plugins. And I'm going to select to this box here to select all of them. You could do them one at a time, but I'm going to do all of them and I'm going to click Update Plugins. And it has updated all the plugins and this little symbol has decremented. Now sometimes some themes or plugins will always ask you to update to Pro. I, you can just keep dismissing that message if you have messages like that. See, it keeps coming up. Okay, no big deal. All right, so I updated the plugins and now I want to view the site. So I'm going to right click, open in a new tab, and just sort of click around and view and view the site. All right, so it's looking good. So, so far, so good. So the next thing I want to do is to update WordPress. So I'm going to come in here, and here it's asking me to update. If you want to know what version you're currently on, you can click on your Home tab, and I can see I'm at 5.0.3. So let's go back to Updates. And so now, let's see, where am I? I'm on this Step 3. Nope, I'm on this Step 4. I'm going to Update WordPress. So I'm going to click Update Now. And just be patient while it's doing it. Just sit there and don't do anything else and let it do its update. All right, and once it does its update, it'll take you to this WordPress About WordPress screen. And it's letting me know that the Classic Editor plugin is preventing use of the new block editor. The block editor is called Gutenberg. And you can review your Classic Editor settings by clicking on this link, or you can go to Plugins, Installed Plugins, and under Plugins, Installed Plugins, there is the Classic Editor, and I can click on Settings. And these are the Classic Editor settings. So there's a few different ways to get here. Um, I recommend at this point to stay with the Classic Editor and not switch. Now, if you want to be able to switch back and forth, you can. Uh, you just click that to Yes, and you can try out the new Block Editor. I'm teaching all my Website Creation Workshop students to stick with the Classic Editor for now. All right, so coming back to my steps, after you update WordPress, you might have other plugins that need to be updated again. So coming back in here, let's see if I have any plugins. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, and I don't. Now view the site again. Let's click around. So I've got this opened in this tab. I can hit refresh. 
and clicking around, it's looking fine. All right, so it's always a good idea to check your site. So now I'm going to update the themes. Coming back in here, I'm going to update my themes. Let's look at the themes area. And I've got my active one, and here are a couple other default themes. Now you can update them from here, but I like to get into the habit of doing things the same way each time, so I get in a good rhythm. So I'm going to select all and click Update Themes. And since those themes are not being used anyway, it's not really going to affect anything. It is always a good idea to have at least one default theme in your themes area. So let's come back to this dashboard. And now I can see 5.1 is running. I come over to Updates, and everything is up to date. Coming back over to my steps. After I update my themes, I'm going to click around again so I can just visit the site this way. And it's looking good. I don't have any update reminders. And clicking around, it all looks good. Now I have some resources on this page for hosting companies you might want to try out, but there's many hosts that you can host with WordPress. So that's it. That is how you update WordPress to the newest version. This is Christina Hills from the website Creation Workshop.